Hello, welcome back to Nursing with Bonomi. It's Nurse Nay, and I'm here to talk about common medications that you'll see in long-term care. So there's two medications that go hand in hand. That's Lasix and Potassium. Lasix is a diuretic and it can decrease the amount of potassium that the patient has. So it's really important that they have routine lab work done and that those results are um, interpreted by the provider. If you receive new orders after obtaining the lab results and having them reviewed, make sure you change any orders, such as potassium, they may have increased or lowered the dosage. When they do that, make sure you take that old medication out of the med cart so you don't accidentally give them the wrong dose of potassium. That's very important. Also, one tip, when you have to dissolve potassium you and you use applesauce, it's going to bubble up a little bit and it'll get thicker. So try to use just barely enough applesauce and, and to use barely enough applesauce and you can always add a little bit more but start out with a small amount otherwise you'll wind up with a couple bites that the patient has to take instead of just one another tip for taking care of a patient who perhaps is on a diuretic and a fluid restriction they may have problems with dry mouth some of the things you can do to help with that is provide um, hard candy um, ice chips and another really good trick is to provide them some lemon slices so they can suck on them and that'll stimulate saliva to help decrease their dry mouth. Once you do get an order, if you do, to increase or lower either dosage of the Lasix or the potassium, make sure you write a progress note. What's that progress note going to say? Huh? Write your progress note down in the comments below. Pause this video and do that and see how close you were. Okay. All right, here's what your progress note can say. Lab results received and reviewed by PCP. New order to increase potassium to 40 milliequivalents per day and to draw a BMP in three days. Patient and family notified. And that's it. So it's really important to have progress notes for any time a new medication is started. Speaking of progress notes, have you downloaded our fall progress note checklist yet? It's free and it'll give you a lot of help to write your progress note for a patient who falls. Let us know in the comments below if there's any other template you would like us to create for you guys. I hope you have a great day and that we'll see you on our next video where we keep putting the page into practice.